Most of us know Steve Smith, the football player, but tonight a look at the man behind the star jersey. I had the chance to sit down with Steve to talk about what really drives him. He opens up about his rough childhood and what he called his defining moment. It's a Steve Smith you've never seen before. Steve Smith is electric on the football field. Passionate, driven. The man he is today, fueled by the boy he was. There's these statistics that say that uh, if you witness domestic violence as a child, as a young male, that you're prone mm -hmm. to repeating that behavior. As a young child, Steve Smith saw his mother repeatedly abused by her boyfriend. And, you know, he would, he would beat her and, and talk, talk down to her. He knew what he was seeing was wrong but he couldn't stop it. Steve was a sophomore in high school when years of turbulence came to a boiling point. When your mom comes home after school and says, pack your things, we're, we're leaving. You know, you're like, why are we leaving? We were on the run for about two or three weeks, living out of hotels. And it was a defining moment for me. Years later, the pain of that moment for his mom still evident. My mom at home, get a phone call from her, he died and she was emotional about it. Even though she went through all that stuff with him, she still loved him. It was an explosive existence that left lifelong scars. It shaped and molded her uh, to where she raised uh, two young men um, that, were, that were a little hardened and, and, and very hesitant um, with people. The wounds that his, it has created in you. I'm 38 years old, uh, a husband, father of four but there's wounds inside of me to this day. Do you ever sit back and look at where you, you grew up and how you grew up and all the success that you've had in your life and just think, wow. When I go back home, it's a, it's a great reminder. This year, Steve took his son Boston back home to LA to show him his grandparents' house. I grew up in that home as well. We drove by and uh, he was like, Dad, you lived here, you know? Family is important to Steve. In fact, he wouldn't have created the Steve Smith Foundation without the blessing of his mother. Why did you feel it was important to call your mom and ask her? I mean, it's personal uh, for her. Um, you know, to talk about anybody's personal life, you, I think you have to seek their permission. And so she, uh, she came back, she was like, yeah, I'm ready to not have this secret anymore. The foundation helps families in need and victims of domestic violence. In November of 2016, the foundation opened the Steve Smith Wellness Center, a dream sparked by a trip to Nigeria. That was my first, that was a mission trip and the first time I've ever been out of the country. Really? <laughs> yes, and it was mind blowing. But those, those places out there look just like some of the places here in Charlotte. Since then, the center has provided more than 1,500 people with medical help and free counseling. But there's people right here that need your assistance, need your help. Just, you just have to look. You have to look. Yeah. It's an approach Steve wants to instill in his children. I want to build them to be humble, to serve, to think outside of themselves, and also to smile and laugh. How I am with, with my kids is uh, really how I'm be judged more than anything. And that's very important to me. My success of of work is, is great, but my success as a man is based on what I have instilled in my kids. Nothing's better than when you come home, Daddy, you know, it just kind of, that's better than a touchdown, that's better than anything. Steve joked these days he's a professional unpaid chauffeur taking his kids to school and football practice. He's working for the NFL Network now as well. I also asked him what advice he would give his younger self, and he said, listen more, talk less. For more on my exclusive interview with Steve, head to our website, wcnc.com.